Credit to Peter Norway on Twitter for this next one. This is absolutely hilarious. So Gavin McGinnis went on Alex Jones' show. They're both still around and hanging on for dear life after being given the social media death penalty. So Alex is going to be so unhinged here that he even creeps out Gavin McGinnis. God damn them to hell, you bastards, you blew it all up. God damn you. He's not taking Lord's name and name. He's saying God damn them. God damn them. God damn them. God fucking damn them to hell. You seem upset. I'm freaking pissed, man. You know they're giving kids vaccines everywhere that eat their freaking cerebral cortex. No, I'm not really familiar with vaccines. They should complain about the children being asked with. God, ugh. not me showing you. You think I like seeing this crap? You think it doesn't piss me off? Let me tell you, I'm ready to kill people. I'm sick of this. Sh uh, not literally. Uh, the point is, I'm getting sick of this crap. That's one attitude. Another attitude Let's just is... Give all our kids to the child molesters, God damn it! Excuse me. Mm. You know, I'm not taking the Lord's name in vain. I want these people damned to hell. <laughs> I love how... I love how Gavin tries to say something like two or three times, and Alex just bulldozes over him. He's like, that's one attitude. Another attitude is... Alex is like, the child molesters! The interdimensional child molesters! God damn them! God damn them! Do you know that they're giving vaccines to kids that eat their cerebral cortex? Gonna go out on a limb here and say, that's not happening. <laughs> oh. oh, so many of his conspiracies are so fucking stupid. Oh my god, the anti-vaccine one is so fucking stupid. Vaccines have saved maybe millions of lives, and he makes a point of railing against vaccines. Jesus Christ, Alex. I think it... I, I genuinely think it's fair to say that uh, he needs uh, professional help. He needs professional help. Now, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> and some people get mad at you when you say that, and they call it ableist or whatever... Um, but no, I think he has some untreated issues that he really, really should get help. I mean, when you're sitting next to Gavin McGinnis, and Gavin McGinnis looks calm and reasonable and together, man, you're, you are out there. Because Gavin McGinnis, you know, we, we played the video on the show recently, but Gavin McGinnis, there's this, um, really concerning compilation of him calling for violence. You know, he was the head of the Proud Boys, and now he's no longer the head of the Proud Boys. And, you know, they came under um, they came under a, a crackdown by law enforcement, and they were kind of labeled as a hate group. And there's video of Gavin talking about, you know, it's time for violence. I, I want Trump supporters to be violent. We're always the peaceful ones. We're always the calm ones. It's time to fight, man. And that's a fucking creepy video and a scary video. And these guys got to understand that there's responsibility when you have that big of an audience. When you have that many followers and you are basically a de facto leader in some sense. You can't go out there and willy-nilly call for violence, man. And listen, you even saw it with Jones right there. I'm ready to kill people, not literally. Come on, dude. What are you doing? I mean, Jesus Christ. It that's just, it's so irresponsible. But the thing that shocks me is, here you have a guy, Alex Jones. Now, Alex Jones and Gavin McGinnis, it, they were given, like, the, inter, the internet death penalty in a way. Not completely because they're still on the internet, but, I mean, like, the social media death penalty. All the biggest platforms axed him. What's really weird to me is that Alex Jones has been selling these, like, bullshit supplements for a long time. And it appears like there's no investigation into his supplements. And, like, he's making ridiculous claims about his supplements. Like, really silly claims. He's selling, basically, snake oil. So he's a con artist. He's doing a classic fraudulent sales here. And it's just, 
it's amazing that like of all the things that they went after him for, it's like, oh, you made some comments that went too far and we're going to pull you down and you're off social media. But like, hey, federal authorities, I mean, if there's ever really anything to go after him for, it's the fact that he's fucking selling snake oil and doing fraud and he's a con artist. <laughs> I mean, come on. But it's like, there's, it's just, I find it strange that like things that you would expect, it's the most logical path for a guy like him to face justice. It appears like that's not happening. Um, but instead, there are things that are happening that I'm, I don't even agree with in terms of the total, you know, scrubbing of them from existence on online in, in many ways, and on YouTube, on Twitter, and so on and so forth. But, man, what a weird video to see. Gavin McInnes trying to get a word, and he can't. <laughs> and he literally looks calm and reasonable next to, you know, a melting down Alex Jones. Wowzers.